lads and ladies and welcome to this and welcome back for another video on the channel. Now today it is another reaction to a Fleetwood Town player getting released in the summer and joining Joey Barton's Blues. Bristol Rovers fans, have I ever let you down? We did one for Paul Coos, we did one for Sam Finley, we did one for Joey Barton and now we're doing one for Harvey Saunders' baby. Harvey Saunders left Fleetwood in the summer. He did get, we did sign him from Darlington. Very good player. We'll get on to him in a minute. If you're new to the channel, please remember to like and subscribe. We're trying to get to 7,000 subscribers. It's free to do so. All help will be appreciated. Now, Harvey Saunders did join us a couple of seasons ago under Joey Barton from Darlington. Now, he was kind of playing for an Indian restaurant, playing for kind of Sunday League, playing through, you know, just trying to get a sniff into professional or even semi-professional football. And again, went to Darlington and did very, very well. And again, we signed him off the basis. Now, it took Harvey Saunders a while to kind of get into the side. We loaned him straight back. Then he came back the pre-season and trained with us. And Joey Botton actually said he thought about sending him back straight away because he didn't think he was good enough. Didn't think he was quick enough, didn't think he was quite strong enough, or didn't think he was quite good enough. Saunders was patient for his chance, and Fleetwood kind of went... We we kind of lost some key players to injury. We only probably had 13 or 14 first-team players around about December in Joey Barton's second season, which would be 19-20, um, the season that got curtailed. And then we did bring Barry McKay in, uh, Lewis Gibson in, Callum Connolly in, that added bodies, but we still needed bodies up front. We only had Paddy Madden, Chad Evans and Barry McKay, really, and Josh Morris and Wes Burns, who could play in other positions as well. But strikers, we only had two. And... Chen Evans was suspended for a little while for getting sent off um, against Wickham, I think it was. And again, he came into the fold a little bit. He came off the bench. And I remember coming on against Sunderland. We were 1-0 and he, he came on for like 10 or 15 minutes. And he absolutely run his run, 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 run. He didn't stop. He was like... He was like kind of like a terrier dog, like a sniffer dog that just doesn't leave you alone. And like, you send him out to the park and it's just like chasing like... 55-year-old women around the park. He's just, like, he, he, he was a hassle to deal with and he just worked his socks off. And he started getting these little cameos playing. He played in a couple of cup, cup competitions as well. But fast forward to this season, the season obviously got curtailed, so Saunders didn't really get a chance. We were kind of short on squad at the start of this season, more defensively than attacking. But again, Harvey Saunders came in and he actually came off the bench against Rochdale and scored. It was a very good goal. It was a flick on to, uh, at the near post. And unfortunately, he didn't get us a result. We lost 2-1 that day. But again, that was the start of this little run. Then he played Aston Villa in the Cup a couple of days later and he scored a hat-trick. Villa defence wasn't great, but he got into the right areas. He scored a very good head. I think it was a perfect hat-trick as well. Into all around the goalkeeper, very cool and composed. And at that time, Fleetwood didn't have anyone like Saunders. Saunders is a very fast, hard working, you know, likes to get at defenders, likes to run with it, likes to take people on, likes to skin him, likes to get on the line, and likes to use his pace because that's what he's got. And he did that against Aston Villa. Then three days later, he played Hull on Sky. And this is the performance that kind of everyone knows Harvey Saunders. Um, of and now we know he's, he can do it, he's capable of it. And he scored two goals, I think he got an assist as well. And Hull defenders were scared of him, they were just running off him because they could not get near him. And he was so fast, so quick, his shooting was absolutely spot on. After that, it was all a bit kind of inconsistent, but. Harvey Saunders did hardly get a chance after that. If you look at his appearance, he probably made about five or six starts. The rest were kind of four or five minutes off the bench when you can't really do anything. We wanted to kind of... He played at Sunderland away was one of his last starts. Was, we were just trying to hoof it to him. And he's, he's not that type of player. He needs support. If you've got a target man, he they can... T hold it up and he will make runs in behind. It'd be a bit like Son and Kane lead two for Bristol Rovers next season if they can uh, get a big target man in as well. But like I say, I like Harvey Saunders. He's got a big future in the game. He just needs, he's one of those players that just needs, if he has a, 
If he doesn't score in two or three games to start, he needs a run of about 15 starts to really, really show his class. Then he will score goals. He will go on a good run of goals if he starts most games, if he gets minutes and he supplied the right service, which I think Joey Barton, Clint Hill, Andy Mangan, they've worked with him before, they will get the best out of him. He's fast, quick, reliant. Um, can get in behind as well, you know, and that'll suit League Two. And Bristol Rovers next season, they're a massive football club. They should never be down. I think Championship Club, in my opinion, I got a big soft spot for Rovers. I think they're a, a great, great club. I hope they do well next season, and they should not be in League Two. The ones are going to dominate the ball. They're going to have to. Let's be honest. They're going to. They're expected to win every week for the size of their club. The expectations on Joey Barton now. And them having a lot of the ball will suit Harvey Saunders. He's not one of those players that, you know, if you're in danger, you can launch it to and you can hold it up. He's one of those players when, if you're going to have a lot of the ball, he's suited to that type of game. But again, a very good signing for Rovers and I wish him all the best. Bristol Rovers fans, I'm sure this won't be the last player that you've taken off Fleetwood this season. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you're new to the channel, get liking and subscribing. It would be appreciated. Until next time, guys, I will see you later. Up the Cods and up the Rovers.